Hi. So I wanted to share with you some information that I received. I was working with the council and I was talking to them about just how difficult this process has been lately and how much the sun with all the CMEs and the protons and the plasma, all of these things incoming is really affecting us and how it just feels like we're, we're struggling. As, as a grouping, we are struggling. And I asked them, I said, what is one of the things that we can do to assist ourselves? And what they said to me was that one of the issues that they are really seeing is that we are bouncing between timelines. Now understand, we've got a, a couple major timelines that are taking place on Earth right now. We have the grouping that is not going forward and they are in the process of wrapping up their incarnation. We have the grouping that is very much going forward into the AI timeline. And then we have the grouping that I'm gonna just, for lack of a better word, we're gonna call it the Ascension timeline. And understand that within each of those major collective timelines are your individual personal timelines. So where we're struggling is, you know, if you're on that Ascension timeline and you could be bouncing in between octaves, in between vibrational levels that really can vary to where one minute you're really low and then the next minute you're like, no, I'm good, I'm here, everything's okay, things are lining up, it's as it should be. And that bouncing back and forth in vibrational levels, in timelines, it, it's exhausting. It's hard on the body. It's hard on us mentally. It, it just gives you whiplash and it's really frustrating. And so, and as they're, they're saying to me that this, what, this is a definite issue taking place, deep resonance went into my soul because I'm like, aha, uh -huh. All right, this explains a lot of what has been going on with me. And I said, I said to him, I said, I think I am struggling with this. I was like, you know, one minute everything feels aligned and as if the wind is at my back. And then the next minute it's like slamming doors in my faces, my face. And it's like I lose the motivation. I just kind of go almost numb. And it's been weird and, and I mean to the point that my husband's even noticed it and he's like because one minute you're full of fire and the next minute you're you're not it's like you're a wet blanket I'm like that's pretty much how I feel so I I said to them I was like what can we do and they really assisted me in letting go of programming and so one of the issues that they were sharing with me that they were seeing was that I was holding on to very limited beliefs about things and not all things, but you know, how things can line up, how things can work instantly, the manifestation pro progress. You know, it's, um, it's an interesting thing because we have these limitations and these beliefs, but that doesn't mean that they're true. And in this quantum reality, in this hologram, there is the potential for instantaneous man manifestation, for miracles, for a better word. And, you know, we, but it's our belief system that keeps us from it. It's our limitations. It's where we have put ourselves in a box of our own making. And so they were saying that this is a big issue. Not only was it my issue, but it's a lot of people's issue. You know, we've been told so many things. Well, you have to work hard. You have to do this. You have to do that to succeed. You have to, it's all these rules. And all of those rules actually are limitations. It's not that you don't have to work hard. Of course you do. But you really need to work hard at aligning yourself more than the actual, you know, humping and getting it done and the hustle and all of that. That's the old way. And so I was carrying the programming that was basically not allowing 
the new way of the flow of ease and grace and manifestation, I wasn't carrying that or I wasn't allowing it through because of limitations I was carrying. And it's belief systems, you know, it's like I can hear my dad now, he's like, you make hay when the sun shines because you never know when it's going to rain and that, you know, almost the save every penny and don't take risks and that type of energy that so many of us were raised with. So what they did was they helped me unlayer and then they helped me align to my personal highest timeline. And so then when it was all said and done, what they said to me was they said, help others, help others clear themselves and to plant themselves onto their appropriate highest timeline. And everyone's personal highest timeline looks completely different, completely different. And it is governed by our belief systems, which includes our limitations. So we are being tested right now to see the limitations, to see the ways that we have created boxes, the ways that we have bought into the lies instead of the understanding and truth of this reality. So what I have done is I've put together a, a healing. It's going to be on February 28th and I'm going to work with the council and assist in unlayering what I can and then helping you align into your highest timeline. And I'm gonna do this as a distance healing and so I'm going to do the healing itself and then I'm gonna create a meditation for you, a guided meditation to where it walks you through the process because what is your highest timeline today can be different in five weeks time, right? Because every time that we shift, every time we change, every time we heal something, our highest potential changes. Our ability to access a higher octave within ourselves changes. So I want you to have a meditation that you can listen to whenever you're kind of feeling unanchored or lost or kind of like, I don't have a freaking clue what is my highest or if I'm limiting myself, I want you to have a meditation that you can listen to again and again and again, however long you need it, whether it's, you know, the next year or 20 years. It actually doesn't matter as long as it assists you. So I'm going to attach the link in the note section, comment section, so that if you would like to join that healing and be part of it, then you can sign up for it. It's Again, it's going to be on February 28th. But I think that the important thing is, is that we have to look at where we are allowing ourselves to be limited. And the biggest way that we're limiting ourselves is through fear. Whether it's, you know, fear of what is the financial situation or fear of what people will think. I mean, there's so many ways that we make ourselves small. So taking a moment and looking at that, looking at where we allow someone else's limited reality to become ours. Um, you know, I do a lot of traveling in my spiritual work and there are so many places I go to that people are like, oh my God, be careful, be careful, be careful. And I'm going to tell you, I know because I trust my gut of where I'm going that I'm going to be safe and I don't allow their fear in. But I can see other areas of my life where I have. So this is an opportunity for you to look at your life and see where you may have made yourself small or limited based on somebody else's fears, maybe not even your own, and how that limits. So just wanted to send this message out as I'm waiting on the basketball game to start soon. You have a beautiful, great day.